Hey man, Dave here, and today you're gonna learn seven rules to live by in your 20s. Sound good? Let's do it. Number one is to make awesome friends. Now listen man, I've been fortunate enough to write a couple of best-selling books, to travel the world, and to now have a cool YouTube channel, but had I not had really good friends throughout my journey, none of this would have been possible. I had different friends inspire me every step of the way. Good friends are gonna lift you up and help you to do more in your life, while bad friends are gonna be negative, they're gonna discourage you from going for your dreams, and there's gonna be a damper on your life. So don't let this be a point that you overlook. Go out and aim to meet some awesome new people and turn them into some great friends. Now speaking of making some awesome new friends, that's what we're about to go do right now. I got a little surprise for you. Let's hit it. Yeah. Yo, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm actually here with my buddy Chris. What's up? He runs a YouTube channel called Soldier of Life, and I saw it the other day. He seemed like a pretty cool guy, so I hit him up. I was like, yo, you wanna come down and make a video? Or right. come up and make a video? <laughs> <laughs> and here he is, and glad to have him, bro. Yo, Chris, tell us a little bit about yourself. Bro. I appreciate it, brother. Yes, so it's your boy Chris from Soldier of Life, and I was in the military for seven years. Quit, decided I wanted to travel a little bit, and now I'm just traveling the world making videos. And linking up and we're in Berlin, we're hanging yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> so point number two, do not put yourself in a box. I was in the military for seven years, and I always found myself as the funny guy. The guy that was always cracking jokes and making people laugh. But the problem is, after I got promoted to a leadership position, I found it hard for myself to get out of that funny guy box. So it was a struggle that I had to get through. But that's the thing, most people don't even realize that they're in a box. Exactly, bro. So maybe you're like the, a funny guy who wants to become the leader maybe you're the shy guy like I used to be who wants to become a social and confident guy right exactly but question for you though what is a box that people are putting you in and how is that stopping you for what you want to be think about that bro anyway you hungry man hell yeah boy <laughs> so this is a really good Thai place like yep. right down the street yeah get some get some bomb ass pad Thai you ready for it let's do it <laughs> Oh, I've elevated. Like, I'm not. Oh, no. Yeah, my fucking black boy, kick your ass. Like, oh, 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 bitch, I'm calling the cops. Everybody else does. All right, bro, here we go. This is the Thai place. The Pad Thai, Pad Thai Spicy, the number 44. Yeah, let me get that. With the crispy duck right yeah. there. Yeah. For right. me, though, no carrots. No carrots, bro. Yeah. No, bring me all the carrots. We get the pad thai. Yeah, that's too many carrots for me, bro. Hey. Too many carrots. All the carrots. Call me no Bugs carrots. Bunny, baby. <laughs> Bugs Bunny. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yeah, we just had a bird come up and fly right into my camera. <laughs> yo, it was happening again. He brought friends. All right, we've waited too long to get this check. We, we going in, bro. Yo, you were in the military, bro. We yeah, about, we about to we about to infiltrate this bitch. I will. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta we gotta keep filming our, our video. Sorry about that. All right, guys. So we got the Thai food. Great Thai food, not yes. so great. Check service? Man, yeah, we gotta work on that next time. <laughs> we gotta work on that next time. We gotta work on it. Anyway though, it's time for number three. Point the camera right here. And that is to build your social skills. Now listen man, your social skills are some of the most important skills you can develop in your 20s. Am I right bro? That's very right. If you're doing anything in life, it always, the common denominator is people. Exactly man, so this, I meet so many dudes out there, they, they try to focus on their own like success, their financial success, whatever, and they completely disregard building their social skills. So they end up being successful and rich in one regard, but they literally have no social skills to speak of. Yes. You have to be able to interact with people. Think about it. How many times do you even do it a day? While you're sitting on the metro, when you're at work, when do you even have time to practice your social skills? Exactly, they don't teach that shit in school. You should be doing this already, bro, but go out and approach women. If you see a cute girl you wanna to talk to, go say hi, use what you've been learning in this channel to make it happen. You know, you're gonna learn, you're gonna learn from those experiences. For me, it's it's taught me so much, just you know, my interactions with different girls. You the same way? The same way. Without talking to females, without talking to people in general, how are you supposed to build anything on what you already have? That's the only way to gain the things that you want is to go through the pain period. The pain period, bro. Exactly. Gotta do it. <laughs> exactly. And by the way, man, if you want to keep building up your conversation skills, then make sure to check out my free flirting and conversation video course. 
in it, you're gonna learn the exact things to say to start conversations and flirt with girls. Just click the I in the top right corner or the link in the description to get instant access to that first video. All right guys, so we're actually gonna wrap up this part of the video tonight because look at look up there, man. It's a little too cloudy. We need a rest, we need to have a beer. Cold ones. A little cold ones go to the town. So we'll see you guys tomorrow, point number four. Morning guys, just woke up. Now let's head to the park and meet up with Chris. We back, we fresh, it's a new day, and it's time for number four, bro. You ready? Hell yeah. Let's do it. Ah. All right. <sighs> Rule number four, don't focus on your setbacks. Now growing up, I've had plenty of setbacks in my life. I almost got kicked out of school, kicked out of the army, and I've been to jail more than a couple times. You been to jail, bro? I'm out. <laughs> Bruh. I'm, I'm just fucking with you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now, all that could have been the story of my life. But one day, I looked in the mirror and I asked myself, is that really who I want to be? Hell no. So that's when I decided I had to carve a path for my future. And that's when everything changed. Exactly, man. So maybe for you, you didn't get into the college you wanted. Maybe you didn't attract your crush. Maybe right now, you're not living the life that you want to be living. So you can focus on all that or you can rise above it. The setbacks from your past don't have to define your future, bro. Anyway, man, time for rule number five, and that is to travel, but don't be a tourist. All right, so we're gonna sit down over here on this lovely little bench for this number. All right, man, so, it's fun to travel, but a lot of people travel to just go to the tourist places. So for example, a lot of people will travel to Berlin, they'll hit up the Berlin Wall, they'll check out the Brandenburg Gate, and that'll be it. Like, that's fun, that's a great time, but aside from the pictures and the Instagram shots, you're not really getting much out of that. But when you go out there and try to experience life through the eyes of a local, the travel experience changes completely. Now that's what me and like Chris, he's holding the camera over here, that's what we're doing over here in Germany and everywhere else we go. And that's what I recommend for you too, bro. Whether you're gonna take a gap year, you're gonna take some time off your job, whatever you're gonna do, aim to go somewhere for at least a few weeks to a month and try to live like a local. You know, going to the cafes they go to, going to the shops, the nightlife, and kind of seeing it through their eyes. This is gonna help you to be more worldly. It's gonna help you see life through other people's perspectives, develop social intelligence, and meet some people that just might change your life. All right, now, let's keep this shit going, bro. You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. What's up guys? We back here by the river. Pretty sick over here, man. Man. You think we should show them or what? Yeah, let's show them. All right, we're gonna show them. All right, man, now it's time for rule number six. Yo, rule number six, tomorrow is never promised. I remember in the military, I had a drill sergeant who was about five foot five, but I asked him one day, I said, drill sergeant, how are you so confident? He told me something that I will never forget. Tomorrow is never promised. And for years, that idea stuck with me. So one day I asked myself, do I really want to do this anymore? And if not, what am I waiting for? So soon after that, I quit and I started doing something that I actually wanted to do. So let me spin this to you. What are you waiting for? Permission? Your 30s? Your 40s? Come on, bruh. You know life is too short for that. Don't assume tomorrow. If you want to make something happen, you start making it happen today. <laughs> Yo, Mexico, Berlin, bro. <laughs> Take the shit out. Oh. My, my two favorite cities right there. All right, Chris, you think they're ready for the final rule, bro? Yeah, they ready. <laughs> All right, let's give it to them. Let's do it. All right, so rule number seven is don't be afraid to embarrass yourself. All right, man, if you want to do something big in your 20s and beyond, you're going to have to take risks, and you're going to have to pursue a vision 
and some people might not get that vision and they might think you're stupid for doing it. Like for me, I declined business school after college because I realized I didn't want to be an accountant. Yo, everybody thought I was out of my mind. But here's the thing, bro. I had a vision for working online and traveling the world. Yo, flash forward five years later, and you know how the story goes, man. I'm over here in Berlin, going to Japan next week, I'm traveling around, but none of this would've been possible if I wasn't okay with declining business school, quitting my jobs, and being okay with looking stupid to a lot of my friends and my family. Now for you, man, if you wanna get something in your life that's worth having, you don't just go from not having it to having it. There's a journey there, bro, and that journey a lot of times is not pretty. So if you're not willing to look stupid, then don't even try, bro. I'm kidding man, I'm kidding. I know you can do it. If you've been watching this channel, then you have the tools you need to go for what you want. So, fuck the haters, go out there and make it happen. Alright bro, let's go over here and bust the knee. <laughs> Give it a wrap up. Knees getting busted. We're gonna bust the knees. Alright man, these have been the seven rules for crushing it in your 20s and First off, I want to thank Chris from Soldier of Life for being in the video, bro. Good to be here, brother. <laughs> Good, Good to be, be here. here. Definitely go over there and check out his channel. It's at Soldier of Life. I'm going to link to it in the description. He's been putting out some awesome content. I've been loving it. I'm sure you're going to love it too. But yeah, guys, stay tuned because we're going to be putting out some awesome videos on both of our channels over the next couple of weeks. Yeah. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. And I'll talk to you soon, bro. Peace.